Hey guys, if you're looking for cheap games, Xbox Live or PSN codes, make sure you check out G2A in description and use the code ECHO at checkout. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is ECHO and welcome back today to a Minecraft 1.10 update video. We've already had the confirmation of incredible features like polar bears being introduced in Minecraft 1.10. I am back today with even more features, items, and changes that will happen to Minecraft PC in the next big update. And we still don't have the confirmation of the first snapshot. However, Jeb and the other developers over at Minecraft PC have become increasingly active on Twitter, so I'm expecting some kind of news on the first snapshot very, very soon. So going back to earlier on this month, Jeb tweeted this saying, Hype Train at Dawn Geek is working on a device that will act as a proper BUD block in MCPE PC eventually, currently called the Observer. Now the BUD block is the block update detector. It's linked to redstone. Apparently this block is meant to make redstone a little bit more simpler, but I am definitely not the person you wanna ask about redstone or this specific block. If you guys understand what a block update detector will do, and if you're a redstone fan, this is definitely gonna be something you're going to look forward to. We currently don't have any art of the Observer, um, but I'm pretty sure we will find some information from Dawn Geek or Jeb very, very soon. So that's the first bit of news I have for you in today's video. The next information I have for you today is for minigame and of course adventure map creators because Jeb tweeted this saying, made textures for at Sherge's structure block and posting the image. This is the second game editor block after command blocks for 1.10. And this is the official image he did post. These blocks are in the nether, no idea why. But again, these aren't for vanilla survival Minecraft. These are for people, I'm gonna say like Seth Bling, the people who understand command blocks, who understand game editor blocks. These are gonna be used for mini games and adventure maps, which of course it's awesome that this is introduced because it means that me and you guys who enjoy like the survival maps, the adventure maps, the custom mini games, we get to enjoy these because of the people who create them with these blocks. They look pretty cool. They actually remind me, I don't know why, of the PlayStation controller buttons. I don't know why, that's just exactly what I think. So these are the second game editor block in game other than command blocks. So this is coming in Minecraft 1.10 as well. Now we did tweet this saying, for no good reason, I went on and added two new building blocks to the nether, post an image, crafting from nether war. And as you guys can see, we have a nether war block and I think that's a nether war like stone block, which is very random. Now these don't naturally generate in the nether. He did confirm this in a tweet when someone did respond to him saying, do these spawn naturally? So these are things that you craft yourself in the nether. I thought they're pretty cool. I kind of find that the, um, the nether warts block is gonna be useful. I really can't see the nether warts block itself being used to design things like its floor, but I can see the bottom one, which is looking like a stone brick type. It actually looks like the nether, nether brick um, like stone. So I'm very, very confused. Maybe it is, maybe it's a combination of the nether warts and of course um, the blocks from the nether as well. So that's something else he has introduced. He just said, why not? Why not introduce it? Something new is always cool. So some interesting news I have for you today, which I'm gonna be showing you in this video from Minecraft Pocket Edition. He said, ported another feature back from MCP to Java for 1.10 surface level mine shafts in Mezes originally made by Tomaso, which is a Minecraft Pocket Edition developer. Now towards the end of this video, I'm gonna jump on my tablet and show you guys exactly what that is because it's one of the best features ever introduced to Minecraft and I'm so happy it's coming to Minecraft 1.10. The last bit of information from Jeb, this is coming from today. He said, in 1.10, the summon command will understand cat, donkey, mule, with a skeleton and a few others because sometimes the summon command on servers or in just normal Minecraft, they don't recognize these specific names. So it looks like he's updating the command block. So yeah, there's a lot of things gonna be introduced to Minecraft 1.10. We already know a new skeleton type is being introduced, polar bears, which I cannot wait for, and I'm pretty sure Jeb is working on other things as well. So let's jump over to Minecraft Pocket Edition and let me show you the specific feature he's talking about with Mesobiome Mineshaft. So a feature coming in 1.10 is surface, mineshafts, and mesobiomes. Been around on Minecraft Pocket Edition for a very long time, extremely useful. I kind of want to show the people who haven't seen it. Now, I'm on the latest version of Minecraft Pocket Edition, so let's go to play. I've already got a world here for an example. It's pretty cool this one. It's pretty cool, it's so rude. Pretty cool this world because it has a village also linked to a mesobiome. Now a lot of Minecraft 
Pocket Edition features are being introduced to PC, which I think is awesome. Example, the paths, they were first on Minecraft Pocket Edition, then introduced to Minecraft PC 1.9. But this next feature is what I absolutely love, surface mine shafts. They're very useful because you get spawners. You also can find mine shafts. You also find a surface loot. So for an example, right here, this section right here, you can see that this is the structure of a mine shaft. Now this isn't the best example I can show you, but I'll show you to my to the best ability that I can. Now how useful this is, you can see here that we do in fact have the rails. It doesn't really lead anywhere, don't worry. In most cases, they are a lot better than this, but this is just for an example of the video. Um, let's climb up a little bit. So you can see it goes from here all the way down here as well. So here's another example. So you can see straight away, it's all like like rectangles. You'll see, oh, this one's actually got a chest. As you guys can see, we've got ourselves a chest down there. And it goes further, 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 further down. And in some, oh, we've actually found ourselves a surface spawner, which of course is going to be cave spiders at the top. Um, yeah, all right, I'm not gonna spend my time messing around there. So it's really cool, but it has more benefits than just obviously finding cave spiders. It's gonna be another location that you can find gold because gold can actually spawn pretty much at surface level. It's rare, but it does happen. And the cool thing about this um, mine shaft is it's actually like, it's like dark oak wood. Normally they're oak woods. I don't know if it's just me, but I find this really awesome. Look at it, it looks so cool. It's just a basic example there. And with this specific seed, it's not only in the meso biome, it's kind of through a plains biome as well. You can see it's slightly gone through a plains biome leading to a mushroom biome. Um, and Sorry, a swamp biome. Now the cool thing, the extra cool thing, about, oh, I've got one more section to show you. The extra cool thing about this one, of course, is the gold itself spawning above the normal level that it would spawn at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys, for example, if I go over here, this of course is still linked to the mine shaft itself. If I go down here, I'm gonna show you guys something really cool. So let's go down here. You can see uh, straight away, we can find ourselves some gold. We're not even that low down. There's a lot of gold. So surface gold is really useful. And for Minecraft 1.10 UHC, Meso biomes are gonna be the biomes that you guys want to go to. And also with this one, you can see yourself another spawner, which is really cool. So I thought that was a nice little bit of addition to show you in today's video. So Minecraft 1.10, still waiting for the first snapshot. Cannot wait for it to be introduced because, well, now this feature's been introduced and of course, polar bears as well. So if you did enjoy this video, be sure to thumbs it up. Take care, stay beautiful, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.